We all know the story. Boy meets girl. Boy likes girl. Boy invites girl over, and one thing leads to another, or something of that nature. And oftentimes, one will ask a question. And sometimes, we aren't prepared. So then, the boy and girl rush off to their nearest clinic in search of accessible and often free contraception. However, the receptionist suggests something else: the cervical cap. The receptionist has piqued their interest. And that's where I come in. Here's what you need to know. The cervical cap prohibits fertilization to the egg by blocking the cervix from sperm. Adding spermicide can increase effectiveness by killing off sperm before it moves towards the cervix. The level of effectiveness is reduced once a woman has given birth. Well, the typical use rate is about 84%. However, the perfect use rate is 94%. There are many advantages to this product. It's safe, convenient, and comfortable. It does not interfere with women's hormones. It is instantly effective and can even be inserted six hours ahead of time. It also goes generally unnoticed by you or your partner. Unfortunately, some women may find it difficult to insert. It may also be displaced during intercourse. It cannot be used during a woman's menstrual cycle, and it does not protect from STDs or STIs. Some negative effects may include irritation due to spermicide. As well as possible discomfort from the cap itself. A cervical cap can be acquired from your healthcare provider, provider, either from Planned Parenthood Healthcare Center, a health clinic, or a private practice. Yes, someone like me. You will then be given an examination to determine if you have any existing conditions that may prevent you from using the cap safely. Your healthcare provider will then recommend the appropriate size for you: small, medium, or large. Prices vary, from zero to two hundred dollars for an examination, zero to seventy-five dollars for the cap, and zero to seventeen dollars for a spermicide kit. Start with clean hands before inserting. First, put a quarter teaspoon of spermicide in the dome of the cap and add a thin layer on the brim. Then, put a half teaspoon in the folded area between the brim and the dome. Next, get into a comfortable position. Se separate the labia with one hand and squeeze the rim of the cap together with the other. Slide the cervical cap dome side down into the vagina with the long brim entering first. Push down toward the anus and then up and onto the cervix. To remove the cap, squat down, grip the removal strap, and turn the cervical cap. Push on the dome with your finger to break the suction. Hook your finger under the removal strap and pull the cap out. And now we are back where we started. Boy invites girl over. One thing leads to another. Except this time, when one is asked the question, the other was prepared. Created using Powtoon.